Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and uh, if you watched the earlier video that I uh, posted uh, where I found these uh, Atherne Blue Box F7Bs, um, they're AB set, let me get that straight, it's an Atherne Blue Box AB set, there's of course the shell off of it right there, uh, we've got a part, got uh, the A unit apart here, uh, this is what's known as the Atherne Superpower Drive, and um, if you're not uh, familiar with how these engines are, uh, uh, this is actually the first one of these I've actually been able to get a hold of. Uh, I was very, very excited when I found out these were uh, super the, the super power drive Atherin engines. But basically, the main difference is uh, the motor, which is right in here, uh, is actually encased by this steel weight. And basically, that makes these engines incredibly heavy. Uh, that also allows them to put more weight on the uh, wheels, which in turn increases the tractive effort of these locomotives. It's basically, uh, just like the real world, uh, the more weight you can stuff inside of a locomotive, the more it's able to put uh, more weight it's able to put on the axles, which in turn helps the engine gain traction on the steer steel rails to pull a train um, so uh, with that being said uh, both of these engines actually are like that uh, the A and B unit uh, as you can see I've already got this engine apart uh, I've already installed uh, the details on the trucks here the brake cylinders and the uh, and this little piece here around the uh, uh, leaf spring of the truck here uh, so we got those details already in place now uh, we're going to go ahead and put couplers on it uh and uh then we'll uh, take this thing it uh, we'll take both of them out to the layout and uh see uh see how they do so uh if you'll hang on just a second i'll go get the couplers we'll put these on and go from there okay well i couldn't find my dike so uh but that's not a huge problem these locomotives shouldn't couple close enough together where it'll um, affect the pilots on the engine or anything like that and i don't plan on running running these with any other locomotives since they're a they're both powered and b uh i don't really have a lot of f f units anyway to begin with in fact these two here are the only two uh, well, this is actually one of three functioning F units I have. The other one is, of course, the Santa Fe uh, Cox X F7, which is basically this locomotive, uh, just under a different name. So, anyway, that being said, we'll go ahead and uh, put these trucks on. Uh, we're going to turn the engine over on its side like that. And... Um, We'll go ahead and stick the coupler on the front pilot, and uh, I'll show you how to put the body on right quick uh, when we get it on here. So, uh, first and foremost, we're actually going to have to turn this frame actually completely upside down. And then, um, to put it on, you're going to want this, uh, come on fingers, you're going to want this lip. I don't know if you can see that or not, but you're going to want this lip on this uh, coupler cover. To actually face back towards the frame of the locomotive so basically you'll want it to sit there just like that and that little lip will face back towards the truck so anyway uh, they don't clip on very good if you don't do it in that orientation so we'll go ahead and I apologize for my sausage fingers being in the way but uh, there it is right there it just clips on really nice just like that and then we'll just uh repeat the step on the rear coupler like so again make sure the little lip on the coupler cover faces back towards the truck like that of course you also want to make sure it's lined up so and you hear it clip in just like that, and we're done. By the way, the original couplers that come with this engine, um, uh, this is actually a Bachman Easy Mate coupler, and uh, you can pretty much 
tell that one there is pretty much toast. Uh, so, yeah, but unfortunately, Bachman's couplers aren't the greatest in the world, and this kind of attests to it. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much done. This appears to be a Walther's uh, or an old Lifelike Pro 2000 coupler, the metal ones, and they're fine too. I mean, there's nothing wrong with their couplers. Uh, the P2000 couplers are are just fine. So we'll turn that around right there, and we'll flip it over. And then basically, you want to make sure this trip pin goes through that hole first. And just guide the coupler through there like that. And then just come down. And the frame will have these little lips on there. It's a little hard to tell because it's painted black. But you can see the little lips right there. So basically just spread the body apart. Like so. Make sure it's all nice and lined up. And you hear it, heard it uh, kind of pop back in place. And just like that, uh, our locomotive is back together. Also, you might want to make sure, because sometimes this uh, coupler pocket back here will pop out when you're putting the body back on. Just kind of push it back in place like that. It's all good there. Make sure the coupler goes back and forth. We'll try the front end. And we're good there, so... That engine's ready to hit the test track, so we're not done yet because we still got to do the B unit. Um, so we'll go ahead and drag it out and we'll start adding the details to it. Right there. And again, this engine appears to have Bachman couplers and both ends appear to be busted, so... Uh, you can actually see that right there on that coupler. And there's the other end right there. So both of these couplers are pretty much toast and they're going to have to be replaced, which I was going to do anyway. I didn't buy these engines for the couplers. I bought them for them to run and pull really long trains. And basically you just spread the body out just like that. Just like they you know, have little uh, tabs on each side of the fuel tank. See the tabs right there? You basically just spread the body apart, pop it up, and then it'll just come off like that. And once again, we have the uh, Hathorne Superpower Drive. Um, so that uh, that's really cool. Uh, um, I don't know a lot about these particular locomotives. Uh, uh, I did see uh, SMT Mainline's channel where he did work on one of these, um, but it's a pretty cool and pretty cool little engines here. Um, so yeah, these these should handle a pretty hefty train. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have enough layout to run a train that to really test them out on, but uh, we'll see how they do running, and we'll uh, get rid of the couplers here just like that. And I'll go ahead and stop it for just a minute and get my uh, details out for the trucks. And we'll go ahead and start uh, putting some of these on. So hang on just a second here. Okay, we got the details out now. Uh, this is a little... Uh, uh, I would say this is some kind of a step or something. I'm not really sure what these are, but they fit over the leaf spring of the uh, Bloomberg truck, like so there. Um, so and you, and you don't have to glue these on. Uh, these Atherin Blue Box engines, they pretty much just press fit. It probably wouldn't hurt to put a touch of glue on them to help them stay, but uh, me personally... Um, I actually don't glue these things on because I, for some reason, I get in situations where you have to take these things back off and if they're glued on, I really don't want to have to fight it. But anyway, you just basically just work that back and forth and it'll eventually uh, come off, we hope. Uh, it does help to have 
sprue cutters. Uh, I do have a set of them, which would probably help things go a whole lot faster, but we'll just go ahead, line them up with the holes here in the truck. Uh, let me turn that light on. Maybe that'll help things out just a little bit here. Uh, you can see the holes right there. And we'll just line them up like so. Uh, come on, you. Don't do that. And make sure everything's good. They should just start sliding right on in there. Sorry, I'm going to have to kind of move this off camera just a little bit. And you just want to make sure they press fit in nicely. There they go. There's that one. And there's that one. And just like that, that piece is in there nice and snug. So now we'll work on the brake cylinders. And the best thing about these Atherin kits, most of this stuff only goes one way, so... It's not like, uh, it's not that intimidating to put these things together. So, uh, you can see we got the brake cylinder in right there. Uh, we'll get our other brake cylinder. Basically, let's twist them off of the sprue there. Uh, let's see. There's a way those things go. I think like that. Yep, there they go. They just press fit in there nice and snugly. Just like that. And, you know, they got a little flashing on them. You may have to kind of clean up some. A little bit i don't normally do that if it don't affect the way the engine runs i normally just leave it like it is because hey uh they're not made to be super detailed engines they're made to be brute tough good old-fashioned uh play value engines so anyway but there's that truck or this particular side frame done you basically just repeat the steps for the other three side frames that's basically the same thing uh, real simple uh, so what I'm going to do is save time we're going to stop and we'll get these things done and we'll take them to the layout and see how they do okay we uh, got the couplers and everything we got our new couplers put on um, both ends here we're ready to uh, stick this uh, body shell back on uh and this should only go one way so uh, if it doesn't fit one way try the other way uh let's see here make sure it slides down like so spread the body out uh, sorry i'm having to de take this uh, off camera just a little bit let's see there we go all right and just like that uh, we have our a and b units back together again so uh, we're ready to take these things to the layout and see uh, see if they run or not so uh, why don't we head out to the layout and see just what these two have got here so hang on oh and before i forget uh, the b unit actually came with its own air horns uh they did of course b units don't have air horns but uh, these will make a great spare set for the uh, a unit uh right there so be a good idea to hang on to those but in the meantime let's uh head out to the layout and see what we got with these two so hang on just a second here 
All right, and here we are finally out here on the front porch ready to try these engines out. Uh, we got them set on the inner loop here, which is DC powered. So we have our power pack all ready to go right here. So let's uh, let's hit the pa let's turn the throttle up and see if they run here. So here we go. Oh, we got a little bit of life out of them. Track maybe just a little bit. There. Oh, there they go. Look at that. I believe we got some runners. train but anyway you can see they run really really good uh so yeah let's back them up here direction and like i said tracks a little dirty there or do i have momentum turned on whoops Well, my power, oh, there's what I have in my power pack. I accidentally turned it off. Okay, let's try that. There they are, backing up. Yeah, I believe we got some good runners here, folks. Uh, these will make, uh, make a good pair, and we'll get some uh, window glazing put inside of them there. I might clean uh, look some them up a little bit, and whatnot but uh, we hope you enjoyed this video uh, really really nice looking Atherin f7a and b units really happy with them so uh, i'd like to thank you all for watching if you like what you see be sure to like subscribe comment get more great content just like this we'll see you in the next one bye for now